dominated by its capital, Caracas. Venezuela has long been the richest, most stable country in an excitable continent. A major oil exporter, a US ally, governed by and for the ruling class. Then along came Hugo Chavez, a paratrooper with a tank. Ten years ago, he led a small group of rebels right into the presidential palace. As a coup, it was a fiasco. But before he went to jail, he addressed the Venezuelan people in his red beret. Compañeros, lamentablemente, por ahora, los objetivos que nos planteamos no fueron logrados en la ciudad capital. The speech was, even his opponents concede, a public relations triumph. His famous phrase, uh, for now, uh, I, I'm, I'm giving up, I am, um, I'm calling my people off, I'm telling them to lay down their arms. Opposition spokesman Tony Bianchi. And that famous for now uh, it, it transformed itself into practically a, 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 a political call to uh, back him and eventually see him in, into power. Se reveló el 4 de febrero de 1992. Yo dije, pues si es que yo pienso como ese señor que está ahí. Y yo también he querido decir eso que ese señor está diciendo. Que se llama Salón de la Patria. Freddy este Bernal es el, el is a key Chavez lieutenant, mayor of West Caracas, la guardian la of one of the government's holy America sites, Latina, the Simón Bolivar Latina. Museum. El pueblo está arriba oyendo y el libertador Simón Bolívar se lanza su primer discurso que señala la historia. Bolívar was South America's liberation hero in the 1800s. He is now the inspiration for the Chavez Revolution, hence Venezuela's new official title, the Bolivarian Republic. Abajo cadenas, abajo cadenas, gritaba el señor. And the spirit of revolution is everywhere. Class anthems strike the chorus. Tremble oligarchs. Military, civilians, even beauty queens and statues are urged to unite behind Chavez and Bolivar. Y yo creo que dentro de pocos años van a salir eh, maratonistas para las Olimpiadas y vamos a ganar muchos eventos de maratones mundiales, porque aquí todo el mundo marcha, unos a favor de la revolución y otros en contra de la revolución. A mí la, a mí la constitución, a mí. A mí la constitución, a mí. Aquí todos los, los ciudadanos soñamos con él, lo amamos, lo sentimos. Es un iluminado, es más, el protegido de Dios. Venezuela today is so polarized, it's paralyzed. The Chavistas carry little blue books, their elected president's new constitution, and their hearts on their sleeves. His opponents number in their millions. The split is, is 1730 or 6633, if you want to call it, two to one against the uh, Chavez, against the Chavez regime. Um, it's a, it's a, a big mass that opposes a government that's definitely not democratic. If he's not a Democrat, what is he? Well, he's uh, an autocrat. <laughs> Venezuela's political mania has infected its economy. Confidence has collapsed. Real jobs have vanished. More than half the Venezuelan workforce now trade in the street. Business leaders have turned spoilers and literally gone on strike.
The country sells $36 billion worth of oil a year, yet some 70% of Venezuelans live in poverty. Es en su relación con los pobres es un simple discurso. Discurso de que yo quiero los pobres, eh, pobrecito los pobres, pero las políticas económicas todos los días producen más pobres. Pablo Medina is a senior trade union leader who gave Chávez vital support through the 90s. He's now joined the opposition and regards his old comrade as a class traitor. Su relación con los pobres es como el hombre con una mujer, un hombre que, que levanta un gran amor a una mujer, le, le da piropo, frases bonitas, pero a la hora de estar en la cama, el hombre no funciona. Igual es él con los pobres. Vast, scarcely serviced slums sprawl across the city. And next door, like a shining El Dorado, the apartments of the middle class. Twice now, this estate has been attacked and looted. Estábamos secuestrados, todas esas dos noches fueron noches de terror. Y luego también, cuando se acercaron a la urbanización, comenzaron a disparar personas de uno y otro lado. Having lost faith in the police, residents like Mirahana Chekovic now resort to their own armed defense plan. They hire private security guards to lock off the estate at the first sign of trouble. Lights, razor wire, and hidden within the estate, guns and emergency food and medicine. It is the same story across Caracas. Entonces hay mucho temor porque se ha generado odio, cosa que primera vez que existe en Venezuela. What you really think that's possible in, in rich Venezuela, in civilized Venezuela, that you could have civil war? Mm, pienso que sí. Si las cosas continúan por el mismo camino que van por ahora, Si nací y así soy, si no me quieren ni modo. Hugo Chavez no didn't get where he got without charm. Mío, 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 con lo mío no se meta, con lo mío, 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 con lo mío no se meta. Yo pasé por la botica y el boticario no dijo nada. He has a real flair for mixing politics with vaudeville. Sin llevar real. One who knows him intimately is his longtime lover and former co conspirator, Erma Marksman. Bueno, mientras yo transité el camino con él, sí, hoy no. Yo pienso que. Eh, muchas de las cosas terribles que están pasando aquí él las tolera, las impulsa yo sí creo que tiene mucho que ver con las muertes de Altamira Elma shared 10 years of her life with Chavez sí. but left him after she says the public adulation went to his head no es el salvador en el fondo se cree el elegido y que él no quiere saludar, él simplemente manifiesta que él no tiene pasado, que él todo eso lo dejó atrás y que él nació de nuevo y ya esa gente se quedó en el olvido. In April last year, the plotter was plotted against. Deadly riots culminated in a coup led by a shadowy combination of army and business leaders. The U.S. gave them tacit support, but the Chavistas fought back. Within 48 hours, it was over. The coup marked a turning point in Hugo Chavez's presidency. He knew his enemies now. Once safely back in the palace, he purged the army, including some of Venezuela's most senior generals. And he turned on the private media owners, who'd shown their colors 
by refusing to broadcast the pro-Chavez demonstrations. He took to calling them the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Como alcalde de la ciudad de Caracas tengo que ver qué dicen todos ellos y por eso los veo a los cuatro jinetes del apocalipsis permanentemente, ¿no? Para the TV owners, the horsemen, are now threatened with having their broadcast licenses revoked. Outriders in print also fear Chavista retribution. Why do you carry it around everywhere? So you can argue with the Chavista. argue with Chavista all the time. The editor of Daily El Nacional, Miguel Otero. This is a country right now where everybody is, has a, a political position. But you agree you are part of the opposition? Well, he created a system of exclusion. So he is the people with, with him, is the people which he takes care of. The others are enemies. They are people who want a coup, terrorists, eh, oligarchs and things like that. Más allá de esa imagen popular, es un hombre muy complicado. Es un hombre que no confía absolutamente nadie. No confía en su propia sombra. Él ve su sombra y la pisa. Desconfía de su sombra. These days, the president is always heavily guarded. He rarely speaks to the press, but when he does, like his great friend Cuba's Fidel Castro, he speaks at length, usually of his enemies. Quitaron la foto, el retrato de Bolívar de ahí porque les espanta Bolívar, porque el autor intelectual de todo esto es Bolívar. Un grupo de campesinos. This press conference on the anniversary of last year's coup lasted five hours. He allowed six questions. And note, the little blue book. Para echarle a Chávez los muertos, pues. Chávez tiene, y justificar con ello no solo el golpe, la muerte de Chávez, porque Chávez tenía que morir. Chávez is trying to instill this kind of very leftist, socialist, Cuba-style um, oppression, uh, edu educating the people, um, forcing people to, uh, to develop a Bolivarian education, which is truly revolutionary. And what could be more revolutionary than government-sponsored vegetable gardens, growing greens to feed the poor? The idea and the seeds come from Cuba. Venezuela's military provides the muscle. This is their first harvest. There are 23 million Venezuelans. Having survived a coup and, more recently, a two-month national strike, the man in the Red Beret has every reason to celebrate. Under heavy international pressure, he has agreed to allow a referendum on his leadership, sometime after August, the midpoint of his term. But he is an unpredictable man. He himself has been saying, well, the solution to take me out is the referendum. So the, I don't think he would be able to break down this, this road. At this moment, um, I give it a 50-50 chance. Uh, not because it, it shouldn't happen. Uh, it's because Chavez may find ways to, of delaying it and all kinds of gimmicks to, to try to avoid it. The opposition coalition is divided and depleted. Chavez reigns supreme. And in this lull between hostilities, sad and strange events are occurring. 
The church reports an outbreak of weeping virgins, shedding tears of blood. These mystical symbols of distress draw the faithful to pray for their country. Then there are the bombs that keep going off in Caracas, three so far this year. Destroyed this time was the very building where the government was talking with international negotiators about resolving Venezuela's crisis. Una explosión enorme. Enorme. La explosión fue enorme. 20 para las 3. Did you know this was where the peace sí. talks was going on? Sí, porque yo vivo ahí subiendo ahí a mano izquierda, es muy difícil saber. Si no se sabe cuando pusieron a la embajada de España, ni en la de Colombia, menos vamos a ver ahora esta. Olvídate. No, tiene que agarrar el mundo. And each morning, this is what you see outside the embassies the passport queue. Por los problemas que tiene el país, porque el gobierno que tenemos eh, nos ha dejado sin oportunidades. Yo me quedé sin trabajo. Vengo a buscar el pasaporte portugués porque me quiero ir a, a Inglaterra. They are the sons and daughters of Europe's post-war immigrants who flocked to Venezuela as the land of opportunity. Ferdinando's grandfather and father left Portugal 40 years ago to start a carpentry business. The three generations shared this workshop. Sí, fue la tierra de oportunidad que él buscó, que él deseó para tanto para él como para su familia. Mire, la cosa empezó a decaer hace cuatro años para acá. Hace cuatro años para acá, la situación del país empezó a decaer bastante. Ferdinando now works alone. His father, mother, sisters, grandmother. Everyone in this family photo except him and his children has left. Ferdinando wants to stay, but business is down 70% and he fears worse to come. Mire, esta revolución para mí es para esas personas las que están con el gobierno. Porque las personas comunes y corrientes no ven ninguna revolución. Y esto no es una revolución. Mire, esto podría llegar a una guerra civil. Yo creo que si esto sigue como va, esto podemos llegar a una guerra civil aquí. Meanwhile, outside City Hall, the revolution continues. These are the heroic ecological brigades of Liberatador. They are informed of progress of the latest international solidarity meeting. A very beautiful event, says the mayor. Bolivar presides. In Venezuela, it's politics as usual.